I think we'll be a lot better. I don't think there's any question we'll be better. We're uh, going to be more physical. We'll have more depth. Um, I think we've developed our strength and speed in, in the weight room and in the off-season program. And I think our attitude and work ethic has changed uh, where we have the team chemistry now to have a, have a chance to have a special football team. Um, as you know, it's going to all be up to the offensive line. Yeah, we're going to look a lot better getting off the bus, you know, particularly when we add some of these guys that uh, we got coming in right now, some of the new junior college players and some of the freshmen, and our guys have developed and got bigger. You know, a year ago we, we uh, played 16 true freshmen and another nine redshirt freshmen. So those are guys that are young and hadn't had the whole year in the weight room and in the speed and conditioning. Some of them played three sports in high school, played football, basketball, and baseball. So they've never went through that amount of weight training and, and conditioning that you need as a SEC football player. So they're all a year older. They're all more developed and have experience under their belt. So we can't help but to be better. We just have to be a lot better. Ryan's a good football player. You know, he's a, as a quarterback, he, he has a unique ability to lead. I think when he walks into a, a room, it usually takes him about five or ten minutes, and he's the leader of that room. Um, he loves football. He works hard at it. He's a student of the game, and he now understands our offense. I think that's the thing that helps him a lot is he's been in the offense now for a year and a half. He came to us in January, went through two spring balls so far. So um, I think he feels comfortable understanding what we want out of him, what we want out of the position. He likes to study defenses and likes to have an idea what defenses want to do. Uh, and that'll help him execute. I think the biggest thing he has to do is is to play one play at a time. You know, he has shown a little bit of uh, not being able to get to the next play when he makes a mistake. So he has to be able to put that play behind him, move on to the next play. And and uh, sometimes when you're a perfectionist, you want to do everything right, and it's and it's hard to not get mad at yourself. And he has to learn as a quarterback, you can't do that. Well, we, one thing that we did as a coaching staff is we stuck to our beliefs. And I think that's what allows you to get better. When you really believe in something and you keep coaching it and uh, you work on the repetition and then the players start experiencing success. And once they get it and they experience success, then the confidence level of everybody goes up. Uh, I've had some some years when I was an assistant where, you know, we wanted we changed things. We tried to change things as the years went on, and and that's how you get worse, you know. So you never give them an opportunity to improve, and, and that's what was rewarding last season was our guys came to practice and practiced hard. They came with a good attitude. They came with the understanding of, hey, we need to get better. And they worked hard at it. And there was that no, no period in the season last year where I felt like practice was hard. You know, it was exciting. It was fun. The guys were learning. And they really gave us good effort.